Lawyers are in the business of pursuing justice. Not all lawyers do that, but Nancy Cohen is fueled by that pursuit. She's willing to stake her skills, her reputation on the line to speak up for those who don't have a voice. Nancy tends to do big cases. I mean, if it involves major insurance claims or the World Trade Center type of cases, where everyone else would say, how do you do that? That would be the case that Nancy could do. She's not afraid of anything. I think that for Nancy, Judaism is an echo of her own calling to social justice. She believes in helping people that are not as fortunate, that that is part of the Jewish tradition, that you do mitzvahs, you do tzedek work, you help to improve the world by doing different projects that help people who are in need. I think the obligation to community is very deeply embodied in the Cher family. We grew up in Kansas City, Missouri. Nancy demonstrated a fair amount of strength as a child. I think she was driven even back then. My parents were both extremely active. My father was president of the synagogue. My mother was president of the sisterhood. I think it was ingrained in us growing up that you simply incorporate that in your life. My mother, she was as strong and independent as my father was. I think she made all of us feel, but especially Nancy, uh, that she could be anything she wanted to be. The best example, perhaps, of her social activism is the work that she did for Holocaust survivors. In the area of reparations, which is an area that I know Nancy's been very involved in, she's used her legal talents, she's used her personal talents, uh, and she's used her community talents to make a difference for those who now are the beneficiaries. That vision to be able to turn her legal skills into a tool for correcting a 50-year-old wrong, that's the kind of impact that she brings to everything she does. She has tremendous integrity, but she's also quite courageous. She's one of the most accomplished attorneys in Los Angeles and in California, highly regarded litigator, dedicated to community service, to doing pro bono work, to being involved in her synagogue, as well as being incredibly devoted and caring with her family. I don't know how she does it. I, you know, there's no sleeping, I suppose. Not only does Nancy seem to be able to do it all, she seems to be able to do it all in an outstanding way. She's an outstanding leader, she's an outstanding attorney. When I see Nancy, it's like getting a shot of adrenaline, of energy, and remembering what a great lawyer, a great woman lawyer, a great Jewish woman lawyer can be in our community. My parents, if they were alive, would be incredibly proud not only of her receiving this award, but everything she's accomplished in the Jewish community, everything she's accomplished in building a life in Los Angeles, everything she's done professionally. I'm enormously proud of Nancy. I brag about her all the time. Never to her face, obviously, because brothers can't possibly do that. The Maimonides Award is given to an outstanding member of the legal community who has also contributed greatly to the Jewish community. And Nancy fits both of those criteria. There is really no higher honor than those who know what it means to be an accomplished professional, to say, you are among the best of us. That's a huge tribute. It also tells the community, this is what we value. Nancy is the best of what we can be, and we all aspire to that.